Hi everyone, it's Sam from SiteMate. In this video, we're going to look at adding users inside of Dash Pivot. And before we get started, uh, it is worth noting that only certain permission types can add other users. So depending on your own permission type, uh, that will affect whether you can add other people. And if you can add other people, uh, what types of permissions can you give them? Um, so there are four different permission types. We have team members, team controllers, which is what we see here, but we also have project controllers and organization controllers. Uh, if you'd like to learn about what each of those permission types can do, uh, head to the tutorial section. We have an article that covers uh, how to add users and it goes into detail about what uh, each person can do. But adding someone is but adding someone is really quite simple. Uh, just make sure that you go to the appropriate folder. Uh, so in this case, we've gone to this Northern Compound folder. Uh, so presumably we want, to, we want to add someone in here, but if we want to add someone to this client team on this totally different project, uh, then we would go to that folder. So just make sure that you've got the appropriate folder selected first before you start adding people. Uh, in this case, we've clicked on the Northern Compound folder. We've headed to the user section. We want to make sure that we've got the Dash Pivot Users tab selected. So this is for the people who will have a login to Dash Pivot to upload photos, to fill out forms, uh, to access different types of things. We want to make sure that we go to the Dash Pivot user section. And the different permission options for this folder uh, will be listed on the left. So in this case, we're in what we call the team folder. So we have team members and then we have team controllers. And if we want to add someone as a team member, we make sure that that's selected and then we get a box at the top where we can type in someone's email. So if we type in name at company.com, as soon as we type in a valid email address, the invite button turns green. We can click on it and invite that person. Then in the table below, you can see a list of all the people who have access so far. Uh, you can see their names and you can see their uh, email address. Uh, the person that we just invited, you can see it just says pending. So we don't actually know their first name and last name yet. Um, they haven't actually completed the sign up, uh, but we can see the email address of that person. So when we uh, invite that person, they'll just get an email that says, hey, you've been invited to Dash Pivot, click here uh, to sign up. As part of that sign up, they'll enter in their first name, last name, and all the usual details. Uh, and once they've completed that sign up, they'll then have access into Dash Pivot and be able to log in on the computer, on the phone, on the tablet, and wherever and they'll have access to any of the folders that they've been added to. So in this case, we've only added them to this folder. If we wanted to give them access anywhere else, we'd have to go to that separate folder and invite them again. Uh, there are a couple of exceptions to this. So if we want to add someone as what we call a project controller, we would click on the project folder and go to the user section. And then in the Dash Pivot Users tab, you can see that we have uh, these uh, levels of permissions within the project folder. And so if we add someone as what we call a project controller, that'll give them access to all of the team folders within, uh, within that project. And they'll have a lot of other permissions too. So they'll be able to add other people, they'll be able to add new templates, they'll be able to add other folders within that project and so on and so forth. There's a lot of detail again, covered in the tutorial section, uh, but just know that, uh, yeah, project controllers can be added to the project folder. And then it goes up again if we head to the home folder. So if we go to the user section in the home folder, we have our organization controllers. And these are the people who are like the admins for the, your entire Dash Pivot account. They'll have access to all the project folders, all the team folders. They can add all the different permission levels. They're basically uh, like a global admin. Uh, and then we have, uh, below that, we have all other users. So this is just listing out all the users who have access to one or several uh, of the uh, team folders across the entire organization. They might have access to just one folder. They might have access to all of them. They're all going to be listed here. And if you want to remove someone, uh, the way that you do it is you just hover on their name and then you just click the uh, trash uh, icon here. And that will remove that person uh, from uh, in this case, because we're deleting them from the home folder, it will remove them from all of the projects and all of the teams. But if you only wanted to remove their access to a specific folder or, or project folder, uh, you would click on that folder and then repeat the process. So let's go to 
the Northern Compound folder again, go to Users, and let's say that by accident we've invited the wrong person, we will just click this trash icon, and that person has now been removed from this particular, uh, from this particular folder. One last note that I'll make in this video, uh, it is possible to have different permissions in different folders. So it is possible for someone to be what we call a team member in one folder and a team controller in a different folder and a project controller in a different folder. Um, so that's why when you go to the home folder and you go to the user section, we don't have a breakdown of all the different permission types. We basically just bucket them all into what we call all other users. So these are either project controllers, team controllers, or team members in the folders that you have set up in your account. So we put them all together so that it's really easy to see how many users you have in total within your Dash Pivot account. So I hope that this video has been useful. Uh, feel free to check out our other videos and tutorials covering other use cases and features and functionality that we have. If you get stuck or have a specific question, feel free to reach out to our live chat team by the live chat on the website or in the Dash Pivot app. And as usual, hope this video has been useful and thanks for watching.